Welcome to the second episode of Kachunk. Last episode we got our first combat achievement point from killing Obor once and unlocked our first new chunk right here just north of Edgeville. The mobile loot tracker came about halfway through the grind last episode so we got most of the loots tracked but not everything and here's a quick image and statistics about what we killed. About 1.5 thousand chaos druids, around 1 thousand thugs, 2.5 to 3 thousand men and about a thousand hill giants. So now we are going to venture into this new chunk that we bought and this Mage of Samurak right here is the only reason I bought this chunk. He has a bell runes shop and he sells all kinds of elemental runes, chaos runes, mind runes, you name it, all sorts of runes. And this will be immensely helpful in killing Obor in the future. The plan is to get level 53 magic which will unlock Earth Blast and Snare. Those two spells will allow us to get more combat achievements done from Obor and keep unlocking more chunks. So I'm going away on a trip for a few days and will be woodcutting and fletching to make money, use the money to buy air and mind runes and earth strike black demons for magic XP and the chance at some gear upgrades. And I'll also try to get some more giant keys from hill giants and we will see where we end up in a few days. So the trip is over and we are looking good. We have 55 magic, 45 fletching, 55 woodcutting and even 43 prayer so we can now use protect from melee as well. And the loot, well, it's pretty good. We have 8 giant keys, <laughs> that's gonna be a lot of over attempts. I'll put a picture on the screen about all of the loot that we got from black demons. Most importantly we got a black sword which made training with the hill giants much easier. Unfortunately no rune chain buddy or rune helmet from the black demons but that's okay. We also have one sapphire ring from the wood cutting and uh, we can enchant this to make a ring of recoil so there we go. That's gonna be at least a little bit helpful in killing Obor. Here's another quick look at the bank. All sorts of nice good things stacked up. We have a pretty decent stack of runes and I think we are basically ready to kill Orbo. So let's take out our earth staff. We are going to use snare and earth blast. So let's put on our best gear and go and try some more Orbo kills. Okay, we are ready to go. I'm a little bit nervous because if you remember from the last episode, Orbo wrecked me the last three times. Let's see how it goes this time. Let's put on the defense potion. Put on protect from missiles as soon as he is in a good position and this should be good. So we're trying to kill him without him meleeing us or pushing us back and also trying to kill him while he is binded. At the moment it looks like we are gonna get three combat achievements done if I am not mistaken. Let's actually wait for a little bit and then snare him. Come on, snare him. Snare him. Good. And then immediately kill him. Uh, I'm not sure. We got something. <laughs> oh boy, we got one easy combat task and two medium combat tasks. A lot of chaos runes as well. So that's... We didn't even use any food. This was, this was really easy. Okay, nice. So that is... Um, yeah, put that down, put that down. So one easy combat task and two medium combat tasks, that means five chunks that we can unlock. So now everything is going to be so much easier and more fun to do. I don't have to kill thousands of men or chaos druids or anything anymore and this is going to be amazing. This video is sponsored by you, assuming you have subscribed. If you have, leave a comment below saying I sponsored this video. So the five chunks that we are going to unlock are the Grand Exchange, the Cook's Guild, Southern Varrock, and then also Northern Varrock. And then the final chunk I think will be in Ferox Enclave West that will unlock the pool that we can use in here. It doesn't unlock the Last Man Standing and we still can teleport to Last Man Standing because the teleport brings you somewhere around here I think. But we will get another combat achievement very soon I think. So now we basically have almost all of Varrock unlocked. Let's go and take a little look at that. Oh man, oh man, does it feel good to walk somewhere else than Edgewin and look at all the music tracks rolling in. Oh, this is beautiful. Access to the Cook's Guild is going to be huge. I think we should be able to access it. Um, probably gonna need a Cook's hat or something. But yeah, this is gonna be very good for food. We can buy the pies from... Uh, this guy Romilly Weaklax and then of course we have 
absolutely everything that Varrock has to offer. Oh man, I'm just kind of overwhelmed at everything that we have access to in Varrock. I don't, I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna first, I'm gonna go to the archery shop and see what this guy has to offer. I think he has all sorts of bows and everything, so we could be, yes, we could start training ranged for real now. That feels good. We can actually progress the account. And we also have an altar right here in the Northern Baroque, so we can actually recharge our prayer, which feels pretty amazing. And here's a little reality check. It took almost 100 hours to get out of Edgeville, but we have finally done it. And there's one thing that I want to do immediately. I never want to see this green, disgusting liquid anymore. Goodbye, nettles and nettle tea and everything that comes with it. If you still haven't received your complimentary nettle tea from the last episode, go ahead and contact me and I will make you your complimentary nettle tea, but I'm not drinking that liquid anymore. Hello, my new best friend, Romilly Weeklax. Deliver us from the nettle tea. Give me your apple pies, your garden pies, your meat pies and everything else and hop worlds to get some more. Oh man, does it feel good to eat something else than nettle tea? So now we still have two more combat achievements for Obor fighting as Intendant, killing Obor on a free-to-play world and then killing Obor five times, which we have now done two times. And this should be pretty easy now that we have actually <laughs> some food that we can eat in free-to-play worlds. We can de definitely do this one and then killing Obor five times should not be a problem either. So let's go ahead and get those two combat achievements done. That should do it. Yes, kill number three. A room battle axe. Hey, that's some good GP at least. Um, I don't know if you have any other use for it. Well, it's our best melee weapon for sure over the black sword, but... Okay, not too bad, not too bad. That was an easy kill as well. Didn't need to eat anything. And we can now actually also teleport to Varrock now that we have it unlocked. And we can go ahead and restore our prayer. Two more kills, one on a free-to-play world, and we are done with Obor. Careful, careful. Now we are on a free-to-play world, let's try to get the free-to-play kill. We can still use Nair, we can still use Protect from Missiles and Apple and Meat Pie, so this shouldn't be a problem at all. Just move aside somewhere else, please, and thank you. That's good enough. That should do it. It was a little bit more scary than the other runs. Got a few hits in, but okay. Combat test completed, fighting as intended, and another rune full helm. Not bad. One more kill and Obor combat tasks are done. And we are going to use that combat achievement point to unlock the other half of Ferox Enclave. There we go. Now we can teleport to Ferox Enclave and restore our health and run energy and prayer and everything at the altar. And that's going to be very, very useful. We also unlocked last man standing, but I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using that on this account. We'll see. Oh, this is going to be huge. We can restore our HP and everything at the pool. And we have straight access back to Edgeville and Varrock and everything. So... Yes, this is huge for the account. The fifth and final kill count that we need. Let's go in. Snare him. We know the drill so far. There we go. Kill count number five. Cosmic runes, insult giant heads, and Obor champion. We have done it. Obor combat task 6 out of 6. Everything is done. And we can unlock 2 more chunks with these. And those chunks are going to be right up here. And you probably see where this one is going. We're going to unlock the bandit camp and then the ruins. And there's a particular boss down here that is pretty easy to kill. And will give us some more combat achievements done. And some more chunk unlocks. But before we head out in the wilderness and the bosses that reside in there, I want to start training some range. So I'm going to buy some bows from low here. And I think we have some arrows, but I'm going to buy some anyways. These are pretty cheap. 
Okay, so we can start training some range and we are going to need some Mosse keys for Briar Fighter. So I'm going to be training my range there at most Giants. But I think I'm going to start somewhere around here like men or oh, something like that. We had a prison teeth random. What are we going to get from this one? Seven law runes. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Pearson Pete. So, come to think of it, we also have this beginner clue from somewhere, from men, I think, or something else in Edgeville Trunk. And this one was both the Bruggen version at the Grand Exchange. So, we are going to go and do that and see if we can actually get a beginner clue casket. That would be pretty sweet. Bruggen, Bruggen, and Bow. And we get a new clue. And that one is Alcaric Mine. Rip. Okay, I think it's time for a little range level and mossy key montage. Well, I got up to 47 range and two mossy keys, but I'm basically out of money and out of arrows. So I need some more money to get some more arrows. So I'm, we still have these four giant keys. So I'm going to do a few overkills and hope to get something valuable that we can alloc for some money. And yeah, let's see how it goes. First kill and we get a limpwood root. Uh, 20 limpwood roots. Okay. Not really exactly valuable, but whatever. And the clue scroll can't do yet. Second kill coming in and nature runes. Well, those are kind of valuable, but I don't think I can really sell them or anything. And this one is in Falador, so nope. Third kill and the drop is death runes again. Valuable, but not really sellable. Damn it. And this is in Falador as well. Fourth and final kill, give me a rune item, law runes, okay, so we got all of the runes, we got law runes, nature runes, death runes, and limpwood roots, I think was the first one, and uh, actually we can do this one in Varrock, we have the chef's hat, we can buy red cape, we can definitely do this easy, uh, beginner clue, I mean, red cape, chef's hat, and a cheer, and Yuri will give us Probably another clue, and this one is Lumbridge. Well, that one is an easy one, and we are going to unlock Lumbridge pretty soon, I think. So I think I'm going to save this one. We are probably going to get a casket from that. So Our next source of chunk unlocks resides just beyond this gate. Briar Fighter, who has seven combat achievements to her name. Five of the combat achievements are easy, two of them are medium. And at the moment, we can do six of these seven combat achievements. The only one that we cannot do is killing Briar Fighter with either poison or venom being the final source of damage since we don't really have an access to poison yet, but we are going to get access to poison from the Barbarian village under the stronghold of security from Ankus. For the ones that we can do, there is killing Briar Fighter without suffering any poison damage, that is basically just playing on a free-to-play world. Then killing Briar Fighter on a free-to-play world, which is exactly the same. Killing Briar Fighter with the protection from magic prayer active. Killing Briar Fighter once. Killing Briar Fighter five times. And then killing all three of Briar Fighter's growthlings within three seconds of the first one dying. And I'm gonna show a little trick to how to do this very easily. You need to have either Axe or Secateurs for this and you want to set... If you're using an Axe, you want to set it to Use instead of Wield. So you can use this to kill the growthlings very quickly. This is our setup, the Rune Fulham, the Rune Battle Axe, and then Studded Body and Chaps from Horvix Armor Shop, the Black Square Shield from the Moss Giants, and then just some random other stuff. We've been praying magic, using all of the potions that we have, and then we have a full inventory of apple pies if we need some healing. So without further ado, let's go in and do our first Briar Fighter kill. And here we go! Let's see how it goes. What I'm gonna do is just step back and forth, 
to make her attack with magic as much as possible. Should have actually gotten a anti-poison from the apothecary, which I just realized, but hopefully we can do this without that one. Now here is the first set of growthlings. Let's heal up a little bit. And what you want to do is kill all of the growthlings to 0 HP or 1 HP. And after they are all at 1 HP, then you want to use the axe to kill them all within 3 seconds of each other. Okay, then we go 1, 2, and 3. And there we go, a combat achievement quick cutter for 2 points. And I see that we are running a little bit low on prayer, so I might have to do some prayer flicking. Jesus, how many are you going to spawn, dude? I don't have the prayer for this. This might be the most scuffed prayer fighter kill that has ever happened, if we get a kill that is... 20 HP, we can do it. Okay, out of prayer. I am going to die here, but... Please get the kill. Oh my god, we got a kill! 8 HP, I'm gonna die to poison. A rune two-hander, give it, give it, give it to me. No! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, how scuffed was that? It wasn't a rune two handed, it was a two rune swords of. <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my. We got a kill. We got one of the two rune swords before we died to poison. And did we get any. Yeah, we got one combat achievement and then the medium combat achievement. Okay, um, that was extremely scuffed. And um, yeah, bring anti poison before you go in there <laughs> or play on a free to play world. That's a good lesson to learn. And actually, now that we end up in Lumbridge, I'm gonna use those three combat achievement points that we just got to unlock the next chunks. This one, this one, and this one. There we go. Lumbridge is unlocked. We don't have to feel bad about dying ever again, and we can just run. Let's try the second kill on a free-to-play world where we cannot get poisoned, and with the rune sword, it should be a much easier. So we are on a free-to-play world. All of our food is free to play and we have a strength potion because we can actually use those in free to play worlds and everything we have here should be non-members as well. So we are ready to go in. Should be a bit easier actually because we cannot get poisoned. So let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, that's that's just f***ed up. You, I don't know how are you supposed to beat that when he's summoning like, I don't know even how many growthlings that was. I put like a number or something on the screen, but it was like 10 sets of growthlings or something. That's just f***ing <laughs> impossible, at least with the gear and prayer and everything that I have. So so I guess the plan now is to go back to Mosiki hunting from most giants and... I guess I'll try training some more ranged. She might be easier to kill with some ranged attack so you can just pray ma magic all the time and not worry about the melee damage. 
level 50 ranged and i also got a few melee levels namely 60 strength and 51 attack and i got two mossy keys from this grind that should be hopefully enough to give bryophyta another try I want to use the best ammunition available to me, which at the moment is adamant arrows that I can buy from Lowe's archery shop, but I really don't have the money for that, so unfortunately this little thing has to go. The rune bandlax serves no purpose now that we have the rune sword, so that's a nice 25k that we can spend on adamant arrows to have the best chance available to killing Briofighter. 300 at arrows that should be definitely enough for one or two Brave Fighter kills I think so we're going with that let's gear up and go and challenge her again this is the gear maple short bow at arrows studded body and chaps the rune full helm and boots gloves and a cape full inventory of apple pies we have the fifth range and 44 prayer so with eagle eye active we should have a max hit of 10 if I'm not mistaken okay try number two let's go Let's go! That was so much easier than melee. And look at all of the combat achievements and a huge amount of money as well from the Addy Blade buddies. So we got protection from Moss, preparation is key and fighting as intended too. That should be three combat achievement points. Yeah, three easy tasks. Yeah, that was much, much easier. We can do the second one just as well. And I'll probably stick to the free to play world because we can't get poisoned here. So it's actually easier than doing on members world. So yeah, let's do the other one as well. Zero food Brave Fighter kill. When did I get this good at the game? Oh, and Rune Square Shield. That's a huge, huge upgrade. Let's go. Okay, three Brave Fighter kills. All we need from Brave Fighter now. Let's see really quickly. Brave Fighter task complete. A slow death with killing either with poison or venom. And then Brave Fighter champion killing her five times. So two more keys needed. So from those three combat achievement points that we got, we can unlock three more chunks and one of them will be Barbarian Village because we can get a poison from the Anku down there in the Stronghold of Security. So we can do one more combat achievement from Briar Fighter. And then the two other points will go up here, one in here and one in here. And there is one particular reason why here. So time to kill some more Mosh Giants for two more Giant Keys and then also some Anku for that Weapon Poison. We have a choice between the Fancy Boots and the Fighting Ones. We take the Colorful Ones. Goes pretty well with our Cape actually. The Golden Cape was a good, good choice I think. Well it took over 200 kills but we finally have the Weapon Poison from Anku. I also bought the Adamant Dagger from the Sword Shop. So we can now combine these to make an Adamant Dagger poison so now we can do that one combat achievement and we also have four mossy keys from the moss giants so we could get all of the briar fighter combat achievements done today and just need some more adamant arrows i'm gonna hop worlds and buy 10 at a time there we go 300 arrows and here are all of the stats that we have at the moment 53 attack 53 ranged and also 45 prayer from this grind and 56 magic i guess i got one level of that as well that's the gear that we are rolling with. Now let's see if we can get the poison kill from Briar Fighter. Okay, it's time to try to poison her. Oh no, I... I didn't... <laughs> well... Well, we needed two kills anyway, so it's not a big deal. And as you can see, I forgot to get an anti-poison again, so... Maybe better this way. We still have three attempts, so no problem. We can get the poison kill for sure. First fishing random of the account. So we're going to get some fishing levels, I think. It's pretty nice. Um, 650. Okay, seven fishing from that one random. Nice. So I was going to go here and pick some cadaver berries, as you can see, the, <laughs> the one there on the ground. This is kind of a stretch if I am actually allowed to pick this or not. Because I don't think there are any other cadaver bushes. They are all like in this chunk. 
But technically I'm not leaving my junk. I can pick them from here. <laughs> well, my feet is kind of... My feet is leaving the area, so... I don't know if you want to blast me for leaving my area for this, then go ahead. I don't really care. <laughs> technically, I am staying on this tile. I am not leaving my chunk or my chunk lock area, whatever this is. So, yeah, I'll take it. Why are all of these cadaver berry bushes empty? Is someone picking the cadaver berries? Like for selling, for GP or something? Is, is that a thing? Like, look, these are all empty. Look at this. They're all empty. Okay, what's going on? Are they, how expensive are these? Are these like 104 GPs? Is this the new moneymaker? Somebody tag soup, he needs to know about this. Finally, I got my berries and these can be turned into anti-poison at the apothecary. And there we go, six full anti-poison potions. Just to make sure if we need anti-poison for anything else in the future, this is nice to have. Okay, let's do it early this time. See if we can get this guy poisoned. No, not again. Well, we got the kill, we got the combat achievement and another 100 death runes. That's beautiful. Brave Fighter Champion, two more combat achievement points, two more chunk unlocks that we get. Well, she's at 2 HP. I'm at... Ooh, don't kill me. Oh, no. I don't know if she is poisoned or not. I don't think there's any way to see that. I'm, uh, except just waiting. Yes! Woohoo, we got it! A slow death. The last achievement, and this is a fun thing, we can just <laughs> kill these after Braveheart is already dead. And I can see a massive reward upgrade right there. Oh my, that is great. We have almost like full rune armor already. There we go, rune, plate legs, and let's take a look at the combat achievements. Bosses, Briarfighter is green logged. And Obor is green logged. We have two bosses completely completed. That is beautiful. Let's get out of here. Those can stay on the ground. Yes. Now I gotta say our melee gear is looking pretty damn sick. Almost like 200 defense bonuses all around. We have been extremely lucky with the drops I have to say. Only thing we are missing is like a rune chain buddy or a rune plate buddy I guess. But but that's not a big deal. The added plate buddy is pretty good as well. And we, <laughs> we have the rune square shield, the rune plate legs, rune sword, rune full ham. This is amazing gear so far. I just remembered we have Lombridge unlocked and we have this clue scroll that we have been saving up so we can now actually do this. There we go, let's see, we get our first clue casket, that's pretty nice. Reward casket number one of the account, what do we get? Something that I kind of expected, okay. <laughs> so we got a total of three combat achievement points there from Bri Fighter and we can spend them to unlock three more chunks and they are gonna be here Unlocking the Wilderness Slayer Cave right there, right here, unlocking Calvarion, and then right here unlocking the Web Chasm, which houses Spindle, and then also the Steel Plate Leg Spawns that's right around here somewhere. That's gonna be a decent moneymaker if we need money in a pinch. So this is how the map is looking at the moment. We have a lot of the Wilderness unlocked, almost all of Vera Rock unlocked, a way to Lombridge unlocked, and next episode we are going to be focusing on some wilderness bosses. For now, thank you so much for watching. We got a lot done this episode, we got our range from 1 to 53, our magic from 30 or whatever it was to 56, our melee is up pretty nicely, our prayer to 45, and two combat achievement locks green. We have Briarfighter and Obor completely done. So thank you so much for watching this episode and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.